In this next topic, we're going to talk about uh, production uh, analysts uh, or deliveries updates. And because Tesla has finally released their quarter one delivery numbers. And of course, there's also going to be a call scheduled later this month. So we'll take a look at what we can actually dissect from it. Uh, and it's, it's good, it's good, right? Because they essentially beat analyst numbers. They've done another record month. But I want to hear your all, all your thoughts on what exactly is going on here. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love Love talking about Tesla hacking as like to call it, but basically just getting the best behind Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us take a look at this. If you don't know, on the Tesla website, you can actually see the production and delivery numbers for the end of the first quarter. So we got Model S and X, 19,000 units produced and 10,000 units delivered. Model 3 and Model Y, massive numbers, right? 421,000 units, 412,000 deliveries. So for a total of 441,000 units in production with 423,000 deliveries, which uh, according to what everybody is saying, that's a big amount number out there which is kudos to Tesla and the team because they basically beat quarter four numbers. Uh, they sold even more vehicles and this is a record quarter one out there. So this is good news for everybody that's waiting for a Tesla, right? You can see uh, that, you know, hopefully you'll get yours ASAP. But the question is, you know, with a high produ production and the delivery numbers in quarter one, because we all know what happened, right? There was a massive price discount in January uh, amounting to like $13,000 off a model. Model Y long range across the board with all these different various discounts. And on top of that, there was the 7,500 federal tax credit that was initially given to the Tesla vehicles and a bunch of other EVs as well. So was this a little bit of a pull forward type of move? Like people that were waiting to buy in spring, summer, they just essentially pushed themselves up to buy in the quarter first quarter because of the 7,500 federal tax credit. And so is it stealing? Stealing from other manufacturers and stealing from other competitors, or is it stealing from Tesla themselves, buyers that were already going to buy in the summertime and just buying a little bit early? So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it are. Of course, the good thing, the cool thing with every end of quarter is that there's going to be a, a Q1 financial results or a slash earnings call, and that is going to happen on April 19th, which is a Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time or 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. So it's always interesting to listen to some of those and hopefully we'll hear more about, uh, you know, this 7,500 federal tax credit. We'll hear more, uh, hopefully about, are there more price cuts coming? What is their vision on what they want, where they want to be? And also, is there a cyber truck on the horizon? Is this actually going to be coming out? And when will that actually start to, or when will the cyber truck actually start to deliver? Is it going to be summertime? Is it going to be quarter four or even next year? So of course, we put a poll out on the channel. We think, uh, when do you think Cybertruck is coming out first delivery? And the, the overwhelming majority said next year, January 2024 to June of 2024 at 34%. A second majority said August to December of 2023 for a 28%. But at the end of the day, we should probably hear more at the or during the earnings call. And then, of course, we asked on the question on the community, are, are more Tesla price cuts coming, right? Because, uh, you know, that's always an interesting thing. And an overwhelming 40% said, yep, price cuts are coming in the near future. And so there's a couple things that we're looking out for. I certainly feel like the Model 3 has some room to potentially go down. And of course, I'm thinking the Model 3 standard range, maybe even $3,000 down. And But Model Y, I could certainly see it going up in price because uh, there's just a lot of demand. And if we were to follow for, uh, you know, follow along with Troy Tesla's estimate and production or backlog estimate, uh, you know, Troy is estimating 50,000 units for a Model Y uh, being backlogged for. And that's why it's pushing a 61 day wait time. And so right now, if you were to order today, April 2nd, you're 
you're you're potentially going to get it in the this quarter but uh you know you're probably at the end of the queue of 61 days so definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it are we're going to jump into the live stream comments but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description is the patreon link where you can support the channel and there's a variety of benefits but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me we can ask me any questions about buying a tesla selling tesla or even financing a tesla and after you join the patreon you get a link to my buying guide which is the best tesla buying guide out there with all the best credit union rates financing rates that are all lower than tesla financing so definitely check it out patreon link down below in the description